Hello everyone, welcome to another battle report for my channel. Um, this is my first post-tournament battle report, so uh, no more dwarves uh, right now. So, we have a 1500-point uh, game today. We're going to do Kingdoms of Men versus Forces of Nature. This is against my uh, normal opponent, and the scenario we rolled up was Kill and Pillage. So, the Kingdoms of Men... Um, which I will uh, apologize for being a little under half painted, but I'm working on it. I have three heavy pike blocks in the regiment size. Uh, one regiment of knights with the uh, caterpillar item for uh, the um, uh, pathfinder. Uh, militia mob troop form. Two of them. Um, two troops of mounted scouts. One with carbines. One hero on a pegasus. One wizard mounted bane chant upgrade with the inspiring talisman. One wizard mounted bane chant um, with uh, the additional lightning bolt. They both have lightning bolt swapped out um, for or the yeah, fireball swapped out for lightning bolt. And this one has the uh, plus two lightning bolt, so he's lightning bolt five. And one army standard bearer mounted. So um, forces of nature. Um, this is a guy I play all the time, so you'll recognize this. Uh, one horde of salamanders with brew of strength, one horde of salamanders with brew of sharpness, one horde of earth elementals with brew of courage, one druid with bane chant, one tree herder with the regen item, one beast of nature with lightning and vicious upgrades, and one unicorn with the inspiring amulet. So, uh, here is deployment. You'll see the tokens scattered around. I think there was five. Um, but... Uh, Horde of Salamanders up front with the Brew of Strength. Uh, behind them is the uh, Lightning Bolt monster. And um, right next to the monster, you can see the uh, Druid. The other um, Horde of Salamanders you can see here is in the forest with the Brew of Sharpness. Uh, behind them is the Unicorn. And next to them is the Horde of uh, Earth Elementals. Um, and with the uh, Brew of Courage. And then uh, next to them is the tree herder. So, now uh, we go to my side. Um, you see I have my troop of scouts with carbines in front of my regiment of knights. And behind them is my army standard bear. Uh, behind the building I have a, my hero on a pegasus uh, coming up the middle for me in a slightly buried picture. I apologize. I have a troop of arquebusers. Did I forget? I might have forgot those on my list. Okay, anyway. Troop of Arky Boosters, uh, Troop of Militia Mob. Um, you can see my three regiments of pikes. Um, in front of the painted pikes is another Militia Mob regiment. And my two wizards are hanging out behind my pikes. Uh, the inspiring ones in the middle. And then far, far in the end, I have a uh, last troop of scouts. So, um, this is what the uh, board looks like as we start. Um... Also, no, my, uh, the guy who runs the game shop we play at, um, I told him how he could get a, a, a free mat, essentially, from Table War if uh, he paid shipping. And, and so he ended up getting uh, this, this like a cityscape one, kind of like a generic cityscape. So um, he had it, so we tried to make like a, a somewhat of a, a city battle, I guess. It, and it goes all right. So we go to turn one, and turn one goes to Kingdoms of Men. So... We move up like such. Um, the guys on the right just shoot way up, and the guys in the middle just kind of reform and move up a little bit. And these guys just reform and move up a little bit. Um, I move my flyer way over. Move into shooting and point of damage here. Not much. So this is what it's looking like here. Um, we move into nature turn one, and he just moves up as such. Uh, moves his... Uh, lightning bolt monster over to uh, hopefully clean up that side it looks like um, a little bit of healing goes off on his salamanders here uh, in the shooting three points of damage come off on these guys and being uninspired they 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 uh, survive they're uh, wavered but that's fine they're just there to sit on that token um, then it comes into surge time and he gets a huge surge off um, so those guys go flying up and that's what the board looks like at the end of turn one so we move into turn two. Um, turn two, um, just uh, positioning and moving up a little bit. You can see the uh, upside down wall where my guys are standing. There's a better picture of that. 
Um, those Archie boosters in the back, I didn't really have much to do with them. So for them, so they're just going to walk over and sit on that token. Um, not a lot to shoot at with him anyway, especially not in this game. Uh, and on this side, um, my hero uh, moves up like such to get a nice flank or rear attack potentially off on many things. Um, my carbine scouts there can essentially move and shoot however they want. Um, the carbine gives them an 18 inch range in piercing one. So they're, um, you know, a little more uh, useful, I guess, than just straight bows. But it is more points, so you kind of stop wanting to throw them away. So, I don't know. I like the models a lot, so I'm sold enough. And then my knights um, just stay out of range of his earth elementals there. Um, not looking to charge this turn, so I can wait. Uh, in his shooting, I put all of my lightning bolts into his druid back here, which actually wavers him. And that's that. So here's some action shots for fun. Um, so the pikes actually have painted. And over here. So uh, nature uh, goes out like this. So he doesn't make any charges, um, which is fine. He doesn't necessarily run on, want to run over the fence any more than I do. So you can see over here. Uh, nothing special and yeah that's about it um, a little bit of healing on his druid from his unicorn another bit of shooting at these guys uh, from his uh, beast of nature but not enough to actually bother them um, and we're showing a little bit more surge here so just a little bit more surge it was something like if he rolled like six he'd make it into combat or something really high, which he actually did last time, but not this time. So, um, this is the end of turn two. What's looking like? So we're just, you know, walking around. It's going to turn three, turn three, and actually on this side, more walking around. So I shove up both of those militia mobs, um, to chaff up his blocks. Um, my hope, it, my hope was that he would charge them, um, and then get himself over the fence so that I could charge him, but nope. Well, I, ah, spoilers. Ha. Ah. Anyway, that's my hope. Um, otherwise, everyone's moving up. You can see my wizards hanging out with my guys. Nothing special. Uh, on the left side, we do do some charges. Um, the knights go into the front of the earth elementals, and the hero goes into the flank. So, you know, pretty good. Pretty good odds. I don't. I don't mind that. It's not great, but I don't mind that. Uh, shooting. We put our lightning bolts at the um, unicorn this time but not to quite so much effect. They're actually defense five, so it's a little harder. It's something like that. Uh, we go into combat, and holy crap, knights, you are terrible. Um, we weren't hindered in any way, um, but th this combo charge, um, 16 attacks from the knight, uh, six attacks from the hero, because he's flanking, um, and then they do five damage. So that was, that was pretty weak. Um, Pretty weak. So, bounce off, and everything looks like that. So, uh, into uh, nature. So, the counter charges my knights. Um, tree herder goes into the flank of that hero. Uh, and here, like I said, he doesn't he doesn't take any of the bait. He just sits still, um, waiting as prime. You know, makes sense waiting for me to cross the fence. And it's just as much as I don't want to cross it either. Um, otherwise, you can see at the top. And in this picture too, he moves some of his uh, characters to hide behind his, hide behind his monster. So I stop, stop shooting him. Uh, yep, uh, I think he sh yeah showing there that there was a shot at my right uh, wizard there. I forgot to put a thing in there, but a little bit of damage over there. So uh, we move into combat. The tree herder does nine points of damage into my hero, but my opponent successfully rolls a double one, so he's fine. Um, the, uh, earth elementals do five points of damage and he rolls really, he rolls pretty well. So he successfully wavers my knights. So knights are headstrong. So it's not like, like a total death blow, but it's still, it's still, you know, it's kind of, kind of hurts. So uh, kind of what it looks like after that, not terribly exciting. Turn four, um, turn four, I fail my headstrong roll of my knights. So they're not doing anything. Uh, in movement, I take my... Uh, flying hero out and around um, Just put him in a position so he'll have to do something about him 
Uh, on this side, I do a triple charge into the right horde of salamanders. So, two pikes and the militia mob going in. And then the shooting phase, um, I put my lightning one of my lightning bolts at these guys. I'm saving my other one for Bane Chant. Uh, just another picture of that, I guess. Maybe I didn't Bane Chant. Yeah, I would have taken a picture. Okay, so we did some lightning on those guys. Um, so what it looks like, uh, we go into, oops, sorry, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Okay, so we go into combat, and this triple charge uh, turns out pretty bad. It's not surprising, they all had to climb the fence to get over there, so everybody's hitting on fives, everybody's wounding on fives. So, even with something like 40 attacks, it's it's not going to go very well. So, and of course, well, actually the militia mob would be hitting on sixes. So, um, not surprising they didn't do that much. Um, probably wasn't a good idea. But, you know, live, live and learn. So, yep, okay, there's the overview. Everybody bounced off. So, we go into nature, and he attacks uh, with his salamander. So, that one salamander, they climb the fence to hit that, hit that troop of militia mobs and that's that's fine he um on the right there yeah on the right that right unit of salamanders they charge the very left unit of pikes they're currently touching they couldn't shift any more left because they kept running into that beast behind them um, on the other side the earth elementals go back into the knights and the um oh i had, I had positioned my scouts over there so the knights wouldn't take a double charge so he couldn't get the tree herder in but he didn't want to anyway so he just turned the tree herder around and went over here deciding that the uh, earth elementals can can take care of this so he's just a an action shot there uh shooting he puts a point of damage on my um hero on a pegasus and that actually routes him i just didn't put a thing in there um healing just these guys are just healing each other back here. Uh, and one one of the guys threw some heals out at this Salamander Horde. Uh, we go we go into combat. And this, this round, his Earth Elementals do zero damage. Um, which is actually pretty funny mathematically. So they have 18 attacks. Hit on 4. So they should hit 9 times. And they're going to wound on 4. So they should wound 4.5 times. So, yeah, zero's pretty pretty unlikely, but pretty good for the knights, all things considered. <laughs> but yeah, of course it's a good thing. They actually get their thunderous charge back. Sorry, rambling. Um, the uh, militia mob here, of course, gets wasted. Any overruns? Um, these pikes do okay. They only take six points of damage, um, surprisingly. That's all they took. So, yeah, they hold. They're fine. Uh, turn five. Um, turn five men. All those guys, uh, the all three of those guys attack that salamander horde again. Um, the other pikes that weren't engaged just reform in an attempt um, to hold off the flank, essentially. Because, as you can see in this picture, the tree herders coming around. Um, my knights and my mounted scouts this turn double charge the uh, earth elementals. Ah, here it is. I get Bane Chant. I get Bane Chant on the uh, counter-charging unit of pikes. Um, since they'll be hitting on fours instead of fives, so it might as well be wounding on fours too. Uh, we go into combat, and these guys do terrible again. Um, something really, I can't remember how much damage they did, and I can't read it, but it was really low. It was less than five. So, you know, good job, guys. Uh, and over here, these guys do, I don't know, like six points of seven points of damage. It was okay. Because again, it's just, it's climbing that fence. Um, not, never a good time. So, uh, the end of men, it looks like this. So, nature, uh, it's repeating, you know, he, he sends his earth elementals back in. Uh, and over here, he double charges the, the very left pike block. Uh, and then he recharges... I think he recharges, I think he charges the very right pike block, if I recall. The, the painted one. Um, healing goes off. Um, so he gets some more points of damage on my knights, but he only ends up wavering them, which is 
pretty lucky. I mean, being there, there are 14, 16, and he had 10 on them. So, um, these bikes didn't hold out. Not surprisingly, that was a lot of stuff coming at him. Um, okay, so it was the left pikes again. And the left pikes, they don't hold out either. I forgot to put the route thing in again. I gotta get better about that. I'm dropping the ball, man. Um, so, he overruns like such. And it looks like this. Um, you can see he's kind of boxing himself up there a little bit because those hordes are... They're the 25 millimeter models, so they're they're pretty big. Anyway, we go to turn six. Turn six, my knights pass their headstrong roll. Thank you very much, knights. Um, so they're going to recharge, and the uh, scouts there will recharge. I'm just saying that because I don't know if I actually get a picture of that. Uh, in this instance, I don't think I send my militia mob in, and what I do is I back those pikes up so that they can't be charged this turn. Um, and then you can see on the left there, I throw my non-inspiring wizard up there to chaff the uh, tree herder up. There's just another shot of that. And there's my there's a charge at the bottom there against those earth elementals. Uh, shooting, I'm, I'm desperately trying to <laughs> shoot this guy off off the board. Um, I don't know. Lightning isn't. Just isn't quite cutting it. Getting good damage, but just not, you know, not quite enough. Um, we go into combat. And um, this is showing, yeah, it, I fail. Um, they do okay. Um, but I end up rolling one under their nerve. So they weren't inspired. Um, I had lots of attacks. And again, I just, just fail it. Just flub it. So they're, they're still alive. Uh um, otherwise it just looks like this, um, pretty much just disengaging, uh, nature, he, he recharges my knights, of course, uh, over here, he double charges my wizard, um, he charges those scout, well, there's a militia mob, uh, he shoots at my, um, my scouts here, which is probably, probably not a bad idea, because he didn't have anything to do with his, uh, laser beast this turn, um, because he couldn't get him on a token, so he just shoots at these guys, but they're fine. Throws out some healing. Um, and then we went to combat. He routes my knights. Not surprisingly, they actually did a lot of damage, which which is funny because they were just being really inconsistent. Um, he reforms like this to face my uh, scouts, which makes sense. Uh, my wizard gets pummeled, of course. And he overruns like such. Um, again, this, this militia mob gets pummeled. And he actually, I think he backs up just to sit on that token. And that's what it looks like at the end of uh, Nature Turn 6. So, not looking too good for the humans. And uh, so we roll and see a 4, 5, or 6 front of the turn. And we get another turn. We should super seal the deal for him. Um, so, turn 7. Uh, turn 7, no charges from me. Uh, mostly just pivoting and trying not to lose <laughs> those bikes. Um, since they are both claiming an objective and holding points, um, I throw my wizard in between them. Um, not totally chaffing up that guy, but at an angle where that wizard can also lightning bolt that beast of war. Uh, over here, the, um, mounted scouts don't charge. They're actually a little better shooting since they actually get piercing one. And speaking of shooting, I actually do get a point of damage on this Beast of War, but I flub my roll. So he lives. Um, shooting, though, these uh, scouts do do the do the job. They actually get a point or two of damage through on these guys, on those Earth Elementals, and finish them off, which is which is a good point swing for me. Um, not enough, but still pretty good. So that's what it looks like at the end of Moomin 7. So... Oops. Um, so you can see there at the top of that Beast of War moved over. So he's got another token. Um, those Salamanders there are sitting on a token. Those Salamanders in the back are sitting on a token. Um, his Unicorn charges the front of my Pikes. Um, not likely to do any damage, but it's turn bottom of turn 7. There's nothing they can do to retaliate. So you might as well. No reason to heal. Obviously, that's not going to accomplish anything. Um, and then you see the Tree Herder charged my wizard so shooting uh, I gets point of damage here but they don't care of course the wizard routes and he actually rolls a big enough overrun to get in the flank of my pikes which is not good 
But he kind of flubs, and my pikes hold out without him being inspired. Uh, yeah, they were wavered, but that's that's fine. The only thing is now he's um, I don't get that token anymore. But that's that. So yep, another picture of that for some reason. But you can see here's most of overall the board of what's important. So I have two tokens. Um and one contested, which, you know, doesn't count. So he has three tokens and way more bodies on the field. So uh, here's the other side you can see. Um, so uh, I didn't put a conclusion in, but it was obviously a, a win for the uh, forces of nature. So uh, some thoughts on the game. Um, it's been a while since I played humans, and I, and I think I forgot I already learned this lesson once that... Um, in this in this case, especially playing someone like this guy I play all the time, uh, regiments of pikes are not big enough. Um, they're they're not they're not durable enough to take to take a charge of somebody with a lot of attacks. So I really need to remember to put those back in hordes, um, which is fine. I can do that. I got the I got the models. Just need to paint more. Um, yeah, I, I complain about my knights here. I I was so excited. I got them done painted. And I was like, yes, I finally get to use my knights. I've been spending all this time painting them. And then they do terrible. But, you know, that's okay. They're still fun. It's still fun to paint. Um, and, yeah, just another note is I just got a, I got a lot of humans left to paint. Um, I, I was uh, painting to catch up for that last tournament I went to to make sure I had enough dwarves done. And I got that done. So I'm back I'm back to painting painting humans again. Um, just to get my... Yeah, get my arm up to snuff. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I have another game against this guy. I'll see if I put it out or not. Uh, I know it's probably not terribly exciting watching me play the same person all the time, but unless you live in central Iowa and you want to come play us, there's not exactly anybody else to play locally. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching and have a good night.